1500 horsepower diesel engine, which turns a generator, which produces electricity, that powers the traction motor that is on the jacks of this diesel electric locomotive. There are four traction motors on this locomotive, one on each axle. This locomotive was manufactured in 1951 and it was sold to the U.S. Army. The U.S. Army was finished with it and it was a very good sold it to us for $250. We put some time, effort, and love and material into this. And this locomotive is a very consistent running locomotive that we use it on a daily basis. So how's Louie going to turn this look? turntable with one finger. He's going to push a button which is going to activate a 25 horsepower motor and it's going to turn it for us. Andrew has got us balanced really well. Diesel electric locomotives today that you see pulling trains such as Norfolk Southern and CSX, Burlington Northern, Canadian National, their locom these locomotives are higher in horsepower. They have computers monitoring them every, every turn of the cylinder. They're very economic to run. And they also cost a heck of a lot more money. Zach is going to take us and turn us over to track two. We parked our train on track one next to the depot. He's going to put the locomotive on track two. Andrew is going to take the locomotive past the train. He's going to go through a switch, then back onto the front of our passenger cars so he can haul us back to Grand Junction.